Good morning. Um, we're not quite started yet, but we'll start soon. So I just want to say hi and please find your Qigong place. Um, Allow yourself a Qigong moment preparing for our practice this morning, which will start shortly. So um, it's really uh, just an honor to have you with me, with all of us. So just bring your focus to your body. Bring your focus to this moment where you are, giving yourself that place of peace inside and outside as we get ready to begin our practice. So. Good morning, welcome. Welcome to Spring Forest Qigong Every Day. I'm Jackie Grant, Qigong Master at Spring Forest Qigong. I'm honored to have you here with me, with all of us joining us in this practice. And thank you so much for being a part of our Spring Forest Qigong family. We have um, so many people from around the globe together, gathering together, sharing this beautiful chi joy, chi moments together. So I do wanna ask a question before we begin. Um, first, I'm going to just say that there are people from everywhere, you know, Indonesia, Canada, um, Australia, and I just really am grateful, and Minnesota, of course, really grateful for all of you, all of you. I do wanna ask you, what is Qigong? How many of you know what Qigong is? You wonder, what it, does it, what does it mean? Well, Master Lin describes Qigong as um, in describing Qi, first of all. Qi is a force with intelligence. Gong is work. Work, um, when you put work together with the Qi, Qigong. Qigong is an ancient Chinese scientific study of this force with intelligence in our body and the universe and how to work with this to make a beautiful life for ourselves and a beautiful life for the entire universe. So um, isn't that wonderful? And do you wonder how is it that you are born a healer? Master Lin will say that everyone is born a healer. What does that mean? You were born a healer because you were born that way. You don't need to do anything to become a healer. You were born that way because that's right. Your chi has intelligence. So let's begin our practice of moving our body, activating the intelligence of the chi. Ready? Okay, let's begin. So today we will practice with um, the element of metal, the positive healing emotion of um, contentment. So let's begin our practice by preparing to go into the emptiness, to go into the stillness, and the oneness. So we'll begin by bouncing. Isn't that wonderful? You just bounce. Bounce, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Smiling, bouncing. Bringing your focus to you, to this moment. Focusing on this moment. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and smiling. Do you remember what SMILE stands for? Start my internal love engine. If you remember from the other day, unconditional love is the most powerful healing energy in the world. Ah. Bouncing, smiling, raise your arms over your heads. Let your hands flop loosely at your wrists. Don't control your hands. When you're bouncing in this way, you help to stimulate the chi flow in your lungs, your lymph system, your immune system. You're also stimulating key energy points on your wrists, connecting with your kidneys, your reproductive organs. And now lower your arms, swinging from side to side, still bouncing, still smiling. Now come to a stop. We're going to begin the active exercises to prepare to go into the emptiness, into the quietness. But let's begin by tapping four points on the face that help to detoxify the body. Begin just below the eyes, kind of in the middle of the face. Use your fingertips or your knuckles. Tap nine times. 
Tap the beginning of the eyebrows. That's a bladder energy channel. Helps detoxify the body. Now with a cupped hand, cup the top of your head. That's the Bai Hui point. The yang, male energy channels gathered together right there. And now with love, hold your forehead in your palm. Cup the base of your head. Massage your C7. That's the, the uh, vertebrae that stands out the most, the lower part of your neck spine. And use one hand or both. That helps the communication between the brain and the body. All right, beautiful. Now let's stimulate heart energy, clapping our hands together nine times. Up inside the left elbow nine times. Right. Under the left arm, beginning of the heart energy channel. Right. Beautiful. With a loose fist or cupped hands, tap your tailbone. Bend over just a little bit. Tapping your tailbone, the gate of vitality. Tap your sacrum. Tap your hips, you know, indentation just behind the top of the leg bone, kind of in that dimple. You can use your fist or your knuckle, whatever's comfortable. This is the one towel point, jumping circles. Now let's cup the knees just above the kneecap nine times. Back to both knees. Left knee, both sides. Right knee, both sides. Beautiful. Ah, feel good? All right. So now find your spot. Feet are shoulder width apart. Your knees are slightly bent. Toes point forward. Elbows out to the side. Your fingers are open. It's almost like you're holding a ball. You hold your hands with um, a little bit of curvature, a little bit of tension, a little bit of relaxation. And now let's hold our bodies in the posture of song. Qigong, relaxation. Relax your shoulders, tuck your chin in. Place the tip of your tongue against the roof of your mouth, just behind the top of your front teeth. Your spine is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. There's a beautiful smile on your face. And you hold the frame of your body like a pine tree. A little bit of tension, but not too much. And you relax, but not too relaxed. This allows the chi to flow even more powerfully through you. And it helps you to move into that place between being and non-being. Shen. And now focusing on your lower dantian, which is in behind your navel, behind your belly button. Visualizing beautiful light, soft light. When you visualize or say in your mind, you're at the beginning of the universe. You're at the beginning of the universe, focusing on this beautiful light in your lower Dantian. And you say the Spring Forest Qigong practice password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. And you feel you are in the stillness, quietness, oneness, emptiness of the universe. You might even feel light, it's lighter, like you're rising up. So light. Breathing slowly, gently. You feel that you are filled with light. This light of universal unconditional love fills you up. And you invite your master's energy, the universal unconditional love to support you in your practice this morning for what you want, for your healing, or for your chi growth. You might say, dear universe, dear master, 
Please help to transform the aches and pains in my body into something beautiful. Help to heal the arthritis in my knee. Or help me to strengthen my chi so I can help my family, my loved ones, the world. Whatever you like, you can do that now. That's beautiful. Do you notice a warmth or a tingling? Okay. Let's begin. The five elements move. Connecting with your body's energy. Begin by placing your hands together in front of your lower torso. Your thumbs are together. Your fingertips are together. Shoulders remain relaxed. Your knees are just slightly bent. I'll move back a little so you can see a little better. Okay. Now step out one step, about a half a step with your right foot. So you're slightly wider, shoulder width apart with your feet. We'll begin by inhaling and shifting your weight to the left, bending your knee just a little. Exhale, shift your weight to the right, bending your knee just a little. Inhale to the left. Spine remains straight. Exhale to your right. Spine is still straight. Inhaling to the left. Exhaling to your right. And if you have a challenge with your knees and you'd like to remain still, you can visualize that you're doing the movement. Or say it in your mind. I'm shifting my weight. Inhaling to the left. Shifting my weight, inhaling to the right. While you're flowing gently from side to side, focus on the feeling with the awareness of what you're doing the entire time that you're doing so. And you can say in your mind, I'm focused on the feeling if you like. Follow your own rate of breathing, moving slowly, gently. That slow, repeated movement helps to activate the intelligence, the chi. While you're moving in this way, you begin to notice a feeling of contentment inside of you. It's deep contentment. You tap into the contentment inside. And you feel that or you know it. You're so content. You're content with who you are. You're content with what you are. You're content with your body. You're content with everything in your life. Every cell in your body knows that you are content. This contentment is inside of you. Contentment surrounds you. All of your organs are bathed in contentment. Contentment balances lung energy, supports the kidneys, supports your digestion, purifies your blood. Just feel so content, allowing yourself to feel content in this moment, gently moving your body. In the light of contentment, all your channels open, open, completely open. 
You are in this light, the light is in you. And there is no difference between you and this light. Now just stay with this, continuing to practice your movement. I'll be quiet. Practicing with you. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. If your balance is good, otherwise you can leave them open.
And now we come to the end of our movement. Very slowly and gently, bring yourself to a stop. Step in with your right foot, so your shoulder width apart once again. Bringing your focus, bringing your chi to your lower down tian. You can rest your arms slowly at your side. Let's harvest the chi by focusing on the lower down tian behind the navel. You spin that chi clockwise, spin it like a ball. Spin it faster and faster, it gets smaller, brighter, smaller and brighter. Spinning faster and faster, getting smaller, brighter. Smaller, brighter. Now it's a tiny little energy pill. And you tuck that in, deep in behind your navel. And you thank universal love, thank your master, thank whoever you invited in to support you. And say, thank you. Please come again next time when you're called. And taking gentle deep breaths yourself. Rub your hands together. Palm to palm. Massage between your fingers. And massage your face, running your index finger and your middle finger along the sides of your nose to your forehead, down around your jawline to your chin. So you're making a nice heart shape. Now massage your ears all around the outside and the inside. Tuck a little bit on the earlobe. So give yourself a full body massage when you massage the face and the ears because of all of the energy points there connecting with the whole body. Now cup your arms, extend your left hand, arm out, hand out, hand up, use your right hand to cup from the shoulder down to your wrist, turn it over. So we're practicing some of the essential moves and soothing exercises following your practice to make the most use of what we just did. It feels good. Okay. Right on. And of course, if you like, you can visualize that contentment, whether it's the word, or whether it's um, uh, just the light coming from your palms, going into your body, into these areas. Cup your torso, top to bottom. Under your left arm, armpit down to your waist. Right arm. Beautiful. Interlace your fingers, place them on your lower abdomen. Just massage in a clockwise way. Move your hands toward your left, down, toward your right, and up. Palms are in contact with your body. Feel good? So soothing. Now cup your kidneys. Kidneys are sort of in the, in the middle of your back. If you can't reach, you don't know where they are, or even what kidneys are, that's okay. You just say in your mind, cupping my kidneys. Kidneys hold your vitality energy. Massage your kidneys with the backs of your hands and your palms. Tap your tailbone, sacrum once again. Oops. Raise your heels off the floor and drop them down nine times. If you're pregnant, you avoid this. Feel good? All right, before we go um, on with our day or evening, depending on where you are, I'd like to share with you something that Master Lynn taught us in a class many years ago, and it's really awesome for opening lung energy. So contentment helps to balance lung energy in the five elements wisdom. Um, this is a fun technique uh, to help to open up the lung energy. So do this with me. Start with your left hand, left arm. You don't need to hold it way up, but I'm going to do that so you can see me. And then you make your sword fingers. How many of you know this? Sword fingers, index and middle finger point up. Thumb covers your ring and pinky finger. And you're going to briskly rub your sword fingers on your forearm back and forth. Let's do it fast. And if, if it's hard for you to hold the sword fingers, no worry. You can just use you know, the, the, your palm or the edge of your hands. So massage that quickly. Your lung channels run through the forearms. And so here, as you do this, and you look at your arm, you might notice a little bit of a blue tint. That's the cold energy. If you have a cold, this can help you to clear that out of your system. 
And then with your open hand, you just move that extra energy out back to the universe, releasing it back to the universe. And here's the message, open, open, open. Lungs are open, whatever the message is. Do you feel a little warm, a little tingling? A lot of warm, tingling? Beautiful. And then you send healing, balancing energy back. Do you want to send white energy or whatever color that you like? Just a light, that's okay. And then you do the right arm, same thing. Do this with me. Sword fingers. Massage briskly, or use the side of your hand if that's challenging for you. Children love this. If you have children and they have a little cough or a little cold, and do this for them, especially if it starts to turn kind of bluish. It doesn't turn real blue, it's just a light blue. You might notice that, you might not. Okay. Okay. And now just remove that extra energy. Visualizing your energy hand, your fingers, just pulling that extra energy out, releasing it back to the universe. It's not good or bad energy. It's just extra energy. Now it goes to someplace else. And healing, balancing energy. Feel good? Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. I'm Jackie Grant, Qigong Master at Spring Force Qigong. So if you are looking for any additional support, please contact um, support at springforcequigong.com. Um, we, are, we are standing by, so ready, so happy to help you. Tomorrow, we will be practicing with the five element positive emotion of gratitude and thankfulness. Um, so bring yourself, bring your friends, your family, your pets. I love you and see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.